rescue your make-believe ballroom and our nightly contest, but some interesting news. The car hop, Gene Thomas, has just been cleared of the bribery charges brought against him to the complete satisfaction of four witnesses, including myself. And if he hears this news in time, he may enter the contest tonight. <laughs> Zoe! We'll get this place fixed up. Yeah, wait till Josie hears this. <laughs> Though perhaps he won't want to when he knows that the only contestant with whom he was tied threw away her chances to win tonight by being here in the studio to clear him, Miss Josie Marlowe. Josie? Josie cleared me. Did you hear that? You're back in the contest. I don't think I'll try tonight, Pop. I think I'll wait till Josie has an equal chance. Our next personality really needs no introduction. His records have sold into the millions of copies. We're especially proud of the fact that he was discovered right here at the original make-believe ballroom. Taking us on the sunny side of the street, Mr. Rhythm himself, Frankie Lane. <laughs> Cold, get your hat, leave your worries on the doorstep. Just direct your feet over to the sunny side of the street. Can't you hear the fitter pat? Old happy tune is your step. Life can be so sweet on the sunny side of the street. Now you. Down in the shade with all those blues on parade But now I'm not afraid Cause I'm a rover who has crossed over And if I never have a cent Gonna be rich as Rockefeller Hold us at my feet On the sunny side of the street So grab your coat Get your hat, leave your worries on the doorstep. Just direct your feet over to the sunny side of the street. Can't you hear the paddle? Happy tune is your step. Life can be so sweet on the sunny side of the street. Now I used to walk. Round in the shade with all those blues on parade. But now I'm not afraid. Cause I'm a rover who has crossed over. And if I never have a stand, gonna be reaching home, Mr. Rockefeller. Go to set my feet on the sun. Hi. You didn't enter the contest tonight. No, of course not. Uh, where is she? Oh, she's gone home. The little girl's had a busy day. I guess I'll go right on over there. Uh, that's what I figured. I'll drop you off. But you and I are going to have a little talk first, so you won't say the wrong thing again. What could I possibly say wrong? I don't know, but for you, it's super simple. Well, I just wanted to thank her. That's okay. And tell her how much I admired her. That's okay. And tell her that I never realized a person could do such a wonderful thing simply for good sportsmanship. That's what I mean. She wouldn't like that? Gee, this may come as something of a shock to you. But I don't think what she did was inspired simply by good sportsmen. Well, what else could it be? Think. Isn't there maybe some other little reason, perhaps? Well, maybe if we 